Hey guys, so I'm here to do a little kind of unboxing and first impression and haul. I don't know. I just want to share this thing that I found um, in Michael's. Um, it's basically this um, rotary. Uh, let me see if I can show you rotary tool from Art Minds, and this is how the package looks normally. Kind of get a picture of it. And this is the hand piece it comes with. A purple and it's like a not a grip, like a non-slip type of grip on it. Um, it's purple and just has a basic on and off button. This is the part where you connect it. And uh, it, this is the AC cord, which goes obviously connected to the um, to the socket. And you connect apparently these. To here like that I'm assuming I haven't used it as I, I barely got here and I barely opened the packet um, um, I don't quite know how you put it in it seems to get stuck up to there it doesn't go any further it seems to be that's as far as it goes. Um, so it just kind of goes up to there. Up to there and you, you get like a little gap between the two connectors. Um, and it comes with this little pack of... Uh, um, bits and let me see if I can open them and I think it has tape give me one second um now the reason that I got this was because I figured it'd be a good alternative to buying um another drill because mine broke and and I'll show you it's the classic pink drill that you find in eBay let me show you for like $20 or whatnot, but this is the drill I used to have, or that I have. Um, it burned out. Um, there's no smoke coming out or anything, but it only lasted working well for like three months, and then after that, it just basically um, would turn off and on or whatnot, but um, I think there's more of a power inside. The, I don't think it's well built, um, and um, other than that, it would have been a great tool, but it's not very um, long-lasting. It's more of a temporary. And so uh, before I go and invest in a better, higher-quality drill, like a Koopa one, um, I decided to try this out. And uh, let me see if I can take the tape out. So I really wanted to... I hope this really does work because... I'm planning to take off this design that I have on right now and since now I'm using the gel top coat it's not going to be easy to take it off um, and I want to put a new design but basically this is what it comes with I really don't know what this is it, it it's not really a nail drill but I figured I, if it works like hey I can use it um, but I don't know what this little disc is for but anyways it comes with different types of heads or bits, I don't know what you call these, um, and then this I guess is like an adapter or something, I'm not quite sure, if anybody knows, and then it comes with abuse, uh, like a couple sanding bits, this one, and then this one, like one is more coarse than the other, yeah, this is like what much, much coarser, I don't know if you can tell, but it, it comes with all these different little bits. That you see in here and before I keep going let me tell you what the price is so I got the receipt right here the price um, is normally $39.99 but I have the 
40% off coupon, which is $16 off, which is awesome. Plus, I have um, my discount card or whatever. So, it, the total was $25.67, basically, is what it came down to. So, that's a pretty good price, almost half off. Um, not bad. Anyways, um, what I'm going to do, I haven't, I haven't turned it on. I haven't used it at all. I don't really know what to do, what to expect. So, we'll be doing this together as you watch is as I go. So, comes with the little thing. And supposedly this has um, 12,000 RPMs. As you can see here, I don't know if you can. But that's what it says down there. I'm just gonna go ahead and try this one right here. Actually, before that, I love love to read the instructions just because I like to make sure of what I'm doing so that I don't damage it. So I'm going to go ahead and read this and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I managed to um, put this sanding bit on. Um, it does ha it's a little bit tricky. You're gonna have you do have to read the instructions. Well, I do. I did. Um, just to better understand how this thing works. But I'm going to go ahead now and connect it to my electricity and give this baby a try. I wonder if it's going to be like super noisy because supposedly, I mean, this is obviously not for nails. It says it's like for sanding any type of plastics and blah, 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 woods. And it's designed especially for women's hands. I'm not kidding you. That's what the instructions are. Say so let me make sure it's off. It's now connected. And uh let's see. Um it does not have a slow up uh, a slow or fast um um button or switch. You know, it's just one speed. So I guess if anything that's the one negative that I can think of so far. But um we'll see. Let's see how loud it sounds. Oh, it's actually not bad. It's actually not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to try it right now on a nail. Um, also, what I did want to mention is I know they do sell adapting um, adapters that you can adapt to, to your hand tool. And you can then you can adjust the, the, the speed of it. So I'm going to look into that and see if I can buy an adapter that's not too expensive and see if I can hook it up and I'll do a later updated video but in the meantime I'm going to try this now that I tried doing it that I didn't like I'm going to just give it a whirl and see um, see how, how it works um, but let me get my mask on I don't like to file or sand you know especially with the machine and not use my mask so give me one moment I know. Okay, so I'm going to put my mask on. I might sound muffled. Okay. So I got my mask on, and now I'm going to go ahead and drill or um, sand with it, see how it comes out. Whoa. <laughs> Oops. See, um, one problem already encountered. It kind of slipped off. I don't know why. So maybe it wasn't on as tight as I thought. So let me go ahead and push this all the way down and uh, tighten this. Okay, that seems to be tight. Try it again.
So I'm already starting to break through to the bottom. And you can kind of see the chunks of the acrylic flying off. As you can see, I did that. Okay, so this is just demonstration purpose. So, um, as you can see, it did break through the acrylic very well. Um, and this is just using the sanding bit it came with. Now, could imagine by buying a better carbide drill bit, it might be even better. But it did break through. Um, it uh, doesn't really jerk off. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> it doesn't. Um, Oh dear, it does not um, shake or vibrate that much. Um, very easy to control, um, and it's right. It doesn't really slip. Um, so I, I did. I mean, I, I did like it. Like a, there's a whole bunch of dust. Um, so I would recommend wearing um, a mask all the time, anyways. But for some reason, I did notice this gives off a lot more dust than um, my old old drill bit. Now one thing that I want to try is if the accessories or the the pieces that came with this will fit into this. So that's my next thing to try. I am going to bring these out. Oops. I literally did bring them out. And I'm just gonna try them out, see if the bits work. So let me just remove this. Let's see if I can do it. Oh my gosh. I'm having a hard time doing it. Okay, there you go. Counterclockwise, Maritza. Alright. So. Let me see if these carbide, they're not carbide, but the other little. So in order to change, there's two different sizes. This is the big one. The one that is in the accessory box in here comes in here. And then this small one is the one that's in here by default. Um, so I'm going to take that out, switch it out for the smaller one because it is bigger. Uh, let's see. Can put that in there, and then this this part goes back in here. And you gotta press that in order to turn it around. And now I'm gonna grab one of the accessories that came with my. So they don't go all the way in. So let's see if it works like that. Okay, so it's in there. It is turning. Accessories of the pink nail drill do work on here fine. See, it tore up. 
the nail even more so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and remove this design and um i'll show you oh this is the nail that i'm planning to do next maybe i'll show you how when i do it we'll see ah anyways bye bye any questions just ask